wrestling. Repetition, repetition as in needing more repetition? Would you agree with that? Yes. 
Okay. How many of you in here are parents to boys? Were your boys active? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. And they're more likely to kick, punch, and move all around. You know, I can look at my boys at any given time, and they're just over there locked in a headlock with each other. <laughs> but for the outsider, that looks like they're, they're being aggressive, right? Yeah, it looks like they're being aggressive. But in actuality, that is a form of communication that big body play, that's a form of communication. Uh, another thing that you can do in the classroom, and I'm dating myself, uh, but uh, does anybody know what a bopper is? Yeah. So for, for anyone who does not know what a bopper is, you did not have a, a great childhood. <laughs> Boppets are blow up, uh, blow up things that you blow up, and then you bop it, and it comes right back up. That's really good for allowing the, the children in your classroom who need that tactile again, and who need to get some of that punching out. That's a really good thing to have in your classroom. Um, and you can even make it, if, as creative as you want to, having like a bop it area. Go to the bop it area, right? And that gives them an, a chance to have an outlet for, that, for, for that, that, that energy that they need. Also, another thing that I've done is for like the kicking, have you ever had a child who would just be, the, the, the children are playing in the block area, somebody's built a high tower, and then you've got one, you got one child that goes over and it's like, <laughs> Anybody have a child like that? No. Okay, well, you know, a good, a, one thing that you can do to help with that is to, if you take an old shopping bag, like the plastic ones, fill it with newspaper, tie a piece of yarn to it, and hang it from your ceiling.